What is up YouTube? How you doing? It's your boy Louis21 back again. Another vlog for you guys. And yeah, I've got merch, as you've probably seen. Well, I've had merch for a long time. But when COVID struck and lockdown hit, I couldn't really sell any anywhere, you know? Couldn't send it to anyone. Because nobody would buy it out of fear, I guess. Economically and of actually you know, con contracting the virus. Um, but anyway, I've got merch now and it is for sale. And via PayPal, just drop me a DM. Um, if you've got me on Instagram, that is. Um, but yeah. Otherwise, just comment on the video and then I'll get in touch somehow. Um, we'll find a way. But yeah, there's a lot of negativity out there at the moment. And I want to talk about it today. And I, but I want to twist it. Not twist it, but put a spin on that. Spin that into positivity. And talk about someone that is a hero that you may not have ever heard about. Uh, Tucson Levateur, if I'm saying his name right. Um, he is a legend and he is the reason Haiti is free today. And I want to talk about him today and a story that you might not even know or never learn at school. But here I am to do that. And yeah, because they say, you know, a lot of racist people are just ignorant and our education system has to change and be more equal and see everyone in the same light and I'm here to just drop some facts you know and my opinion in the process so let me roll the intro guys um, and I'll see you back here in a second Alright guys, so yeah, Toussaint Louverture, Francois Toussaint Louverture, he was a former Haitian slave who led a successful revolt against the French who were, who colonised Haiti at the time, formerly known as San Domingo, Domingo. yeah, that's, that's how it reads anyway, Spain and the British uh, colonised different parts of the Caribbean where Haiti was well that's what we know it today anyway so yeah he fought to end slavery in Haiti you know to gain independence and he was the president following this success so the abolition of slavery in Haiti was on the 22nd of August 1791 they rebelled against the French colony that was there. Um, at the time it was called Hispalonia, not Haiti, strangely enough. Um, but they were inspired by the French Revolution that was going on in France at the time. And, you know, they were angry at generations of abuse um, and slavery. And what well, it says on this, wrongly on this bio, it said that Slaves began slaughtering whites, but not all the whites, um, because there were some people who did join forces with them. Um, you know, this I don't know if it's, it's entirely accurate, because it, it does say it in other places that. Oh damn, I'm famous today. Anyway, it does say in other places that um, after the revolution was won, they killed all the white people on the island, which is not true because there were Polish. Uh, people stationed there fighting for the French initially but they were so you know in awe of, of this rebellion um, you know they admired what these slaves were doing to try and gain their freedom so the Polish joined them in a fight against the French amazingly enough you know so they might try and twist it but you know they didn't kill all the white people on the island it wasn't a slaughter of any kind. So anyone who's saying that is kind of trying to twist the story deliberately to, you know, make them seem not as good as they were. But you would, someone had you captured 
in captivity your whole life, you would one day get fed up, you know. Is it normal? It's normal. Are you going to accept it? No. And they prove that you can't, you know, you shouldn't accept it. Um, I mean, this is the only case where slaves rose up and took their freedom and freed the whole island in this case. It's the only time that's happened. That happened in history. And yeah, we don't have slavery today, but my argument is that, you know, there there's mental barriers that not learning this at school causes as a as a kid. Um, wherever you're from, you need to know the world story, the world history properly and fairly to make your own judgment. Not half the story that will then cause some people to in turn be ignorant and then racist. Because that's how racism starts, through ignorance. And we can't have that anymore. It's 2020, come on. We need to know the full picture. Understand our heri- each person's heritage, where you really came from, you know. So I'm just going to read a bit of what I got here. So it was like, as a result, many Polish soldiers admired their enemy and decided to turn on the French army and join the Haitian slaves and participated in the Haitian Revolution of 1904. For their loyalty and support for overthrowing the French, the Poles acquired Haitian citizenship after Haiti gained its independence. So they did not slaughter all the white people, as was stated by some some sources. He served as a doctor uh, to the troops as well as a soldier and a leader. And he joined forces with uh, George Bissot, I think his name is, um, and his rebels who were allied with the French, no, who were allied with the Spanish against the French. Um, so they joined with them to fight the French. And so Tucson quickly developed a reputation and was given command of 600 black former slaves. His forces were well organized and steadily grew to 4,000 men. So people followed him. This guy was a leader, clearly. Yeah, no, it's an interesting story. And um, allegedly Napoleon's, well, Napoleon himself sent his brother there to try and take Haiti back after, um, obviously, after it had been taken over. It had been taken back by the people, by the slaves. Um, France still wanted it for their own. Um, And in the same year, or the following year, um, they asked Toussaint Louverture to go to France to negotiate some sort of deal or something. You know, they, they lured him back. Um, with a secret agenda, obviously, um, that he didn't know, and all all the people around him said, "Don't go, don't go there. We've got our freedom now. What's the point?" Side note: um, they had to pay back reparations, Haiti, to France, uh, billions apparently at the time. Um, and I'll find the, find the actual figure for you. Um, but yeah, they're urged to pay it back, to repay Haiti all those reparations. Um, and yeah, of course, mo- modern day. We talk about the modern day change, but they didn't stop paying back these reparations till 1947, I think, around that time, from when the when they free they got their freedom in 1802, more than 200 years, you know. Um, and you know, in terms of the Caribbean, Caribbean, in terms of the. Caribbean community in England, um, they were paying back reparations in tax um, until 2015 for, you know, uh, all the, um, the, the, the same thing eff- effectively. And that's, that's sad. You think it's in the past, but people are still paying back now, unfairly, you know. And France has seen the consequences. Do they have to repay all of that? And rightly so. So guys, yeah, Haiti, in 1825, paid France $21 billion to preserve its independence. Imagine that. Of course they're going to ask for their money back now, it's time. Um, That's harsh in the first place. Um, So don't think that Haiti got their freedom and everything was fine and dandy, because we know it's a very poor country today, and they suffer from floods and hurricanes a lot, um, Hurricane Matthew for example, 
Um, so there's a lot of mis misfortune, um, and yeah, they they for their freedom they they've had a difficult time. You know, freedom is not straightforward. Strangely enough, you'd think it would be. Um, and yeah, so people only talk about like America and the slavery there and what happened there. Um, we know, but the rest of the story, do you really know? The the bigger picture um, is what schools really need to make an effort to teach kids, um, so you can see everyone as equal. Because if you see, okay, that race, uh, they were all slaves, and therefore, then they can't do anything in in the normal world. They, they can't succeed in life. But actually, it's the opposite. But as a kid, it will make you think that. Um, and it will twist your brain, you know. As a white kid or a black kid, um, that could affect your whole life, how you treat others and how you see yourself. Anyway, back to the story. Um, so yeah, blah blah blah. They were successful. Yeah, so they've been known as Haiti since 1804, or earlier than that. Yeah. Anyway, so on the morning of 7th of April, 1803, uh, Toussaint Louverture, uh, leader of the slave insurrection in France, in French, San Domingo as it was known, uh, you know, he led the Haitian Revolution. Um, according to this, he was found dead by guard in the prison in France where he had been held captive for nearly eight months. So yeah, they invited him there to negotiate something, some sort of deal, and he ends up in prison and dies of pneumonia and starvation. It's horrible, like, he was a hero and he died a hero in some ways, because he, he freed the slaves in Haiti. And not many people can say they freed anyone, you know, even up to date. You know, this is a guy who was a hero, he fought for his freedom and a lot of other slaves' freedoms. Oh, that's gonna get copyright. My ringtone. Jesus, people won't leave me alone today, guys. God, I should put my phone on silent, really. Yeah. I mean, no one's gonna confiscate my phone. I'm not at school, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, God. Always, like, always, like, all day it won't ring, and then start a video, two phone calls, you know what I mean? But anyway, back to the story, I mean, so yeah, it's pretty sad what happened to him after all that, you know, the, the French. Um, they are paying back Haiti, hopefully for all of that, and it'll help them in the future, because that that is probably what, one of the reasons they've suffered as, as they have over the years, financially, economically. Uh, all of the Caribbean, in fact, because of colonialism, they've suffered, and... You know, now they're trying to play catch up with, like, technologically, economically, all these things. Sadly, because of colonialism, really. Not wholly to blame on that. Not entirely the fault of colonialism, but that's one of the things, one of the factors. Um, people don't think about this. Um, they blame America. Oh, yeah, America's terrible. But Britain colonised a lot of the world, and there were a lot of atrocities that happened along with that and I'm not going to get into it but what I'm trying to say is that our school system our education system is fundamentally flawed it needs to educate properly um, to you know to give an equal paint an equal picture of the world before and how it shaped the world we have today you know I mean just I don't want to talk about the, the problems of today directly and, and I've talked about it before and I just want to say like just love everybody that's it uh, wherever they're from whatever their skin colour whatever their ability or disability or sexuality or whatever just like be nice to you know like don't see someone as less than you because they're clearly not I mean some people have been brainwashed into thinking that um, or had the, their idea ideas put in their head um, but yeah just love everybody you know simple as that don't judge 
You know, kid, kids growing up don't judge. So people of different, of different um, ethnic, ethnicities, um, you know. But the excuse of going, oh, I'm not racist, I have a black friend. That, that's stupid, like, it doesn't make you not racist, you know. I mean, yeah, the world has gone crazy. But um, revolution is in the air in some ways. And that's a good thing. And history tells us that. Um, that's what brings about change. Uh, not necessarily through violence, but through change in legis legislation and stuff. Like that. I'm not a politician, guys. I didn't study it, you know. I studied journalism, so in that way, I might just be telling you complete lies and being biased. Because that's kind of what half the journalism world does. And that's why I saw that and I thought, nah, I don't want to be a journalist if half of them are doing that as a means to an end. There's some good journalists out there, don't get me wrong. James O'Brien, LBC. As, there's others, but there's some that are just outright stupid. And, you know, before I go, I just want to praise Marcus Rashford. Yeah, I'm a Spurs fan, um, but it goes beyond what team you support. Marcus Rashford is a hero. And, yeah, it took him doing it for Boris to realise, in some ways, what he wasn't doing, you know? And, yeah, so... There's good things happening out there. It's not all bad. Even though it is a crazy world we're living in. You know, it's not all bad. There's been some good... It, if anything, history teach, teaches you that. Um, that there's always good for all the bad. So, yeah, I mean... That's it, guys. Um, it's raining this week, so I can't really go to the park. As I would be there right now, but... Like you've seen in the last two vlogs... Or well, the last vlog, well, I nearly got caught in the rain. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Don't know what I want to do next for a video. We'll see. We'll see. But that is it for now. This has been a longer video. Just to talk about the current situation and... And the past. A little history lesson. Thank you, guys. As always, take it easy. Be well. Be safe, you know. Be humble. And just love everybody. That's it. That is it, guys. It's as simple as that. Take it easy, guys. Peace.